deep breaths. Been a lot of those lately. So I didn't make a vlog style video last week, uh, but it has been a busy few weeks. From a business standpoint, we've been fortunate enough to land a few projects and all things considered, uh, we're hanging in there. That said, I don't think that uh, I'll talk about the business too much in this video. I think that I will just focus on uh, a bit more of the personal right now. When I say that it's been busy, it's definitely been a different kind of busy. So much less busy on shoots or editing or on specific business projects like that, but more so busy learning to adapt and to stay productive and happy with a new limited set of resources and options. For those of us who are fortunate enough, privileged enough, that our biggest struggle right now is to stay active, to avoid boredom, or to try to find fulfillment rather than literally trying to fight for our survival, it is still in its own right uh, a significant challenge. And one thing that I keep seeing on social media, on Instagram, are these posts uh, saying things like, you know you don't have to be super productive right now, or you know you don't have to write a book or start that podcast. And while I definitely understand the value in this thinking, while, and while I uh, recognize that it's certainly not helpful to beat yourself up pointlessly, I do almost feel a personal duty right now to achieve some form of productivity um, because I'm fortunate enough to have the choice. And I definitely don't think that it has to be a book or a podcast or something super formal like that, but it could definitely be trying meditation for the first time or just trying to read a bit more or trying to read something different than you're used to reading or trying a new form of exercise. It could be anything. Look, I think that we're all going to cave at some point and binge some Netflix and just be totally lazy, but one thing that I've been asking myself and that I would encourage anyone to ask themselves at this time is this. When we look back on this time, which will undoubtedly be a time that we will remember for the rest of our lives, how will we want this time to have been defined for us or by us? I personally don't want to look back at this as the time that I watched Tiger King seven times and got day drunk every day. I'd much rather look back and say, yeah, sure, I did indulge in some Ben and Jerry's a few times. It's so good. But ultimately, for the most part, I made a real effort to honor that time and to make the most of it and to live fully through it. There are a few things that I have done purely for catharsis, um, such as biking. Uh, I've gone out for a few rides and I almost forgot how much joy a simple bike ride can bring me. That's been an absolute blast. Uh, I almost never cook, but I roasted a full chicken last night and it was mwah. And I've even been learning a few dance moves. They was fucking with your ass till they made a decision. All my friends making mans cause they know I'm a bitch. A lot of Not quite ready for TikTok yet, but fun nonetheless. Aside from that, I've been trying to focus as much energy as possible on my work creative projects, and fortunately those two are often intertwined, and then exercise. As far as work goes, we're still just trying to find ways to adapt and to better serve our clients through this time and through these challenges, and I do feel like we're still doing a good job, but I said I wasn't gonna talk about work too much. In terms of creative projects, I'm just trying to put more time and effort into the videos that I make like this, and also planning some other short fun videos. I'm also planning to uh, renovate and build out this office space um, with my friend Robin Manning, who is a wicked interior designer from Nova Scotia. Um, so she's helping me kind of like map out the floor plans, the layouts and the overall theme. But I am hoping to build a lot of the furniture, like the tables and the shelves and the benches uh, with my own hands. I have essentially no experience doing any sort of construction or handiwork like that, uh, but I've got the attitude for it right now, I've got the time for it, and I've got YouTube. Not men that wax their chests, not women that shave their legs or wear the latest trends. Women want men that are capable and can do things and can take care of a family. I don't care what anyone tells you, it's the truth. Uh... So let's and in terms of exercise, I've mostly just been focusing on trying to stretch and do some mobility work on my hips in the morning. I'm trying to run like three to five times a week 
and then stretch after each run. I think I'd really like to run a marathon, so hopefully those will be up and running again in the fall, here's to hoping. Um, but if not, I think I'll just run one anyway, just on my own, because it would suck to do all that training and then not run it, so see how it goes. Anyway, it's, uh, it's been nice talking to you guys. This is the most company I've had all weekend, uh, but I've gotta get back to work, lots to do. Please stay healthy, stay strong, stay safe, stay happy, and uh, I'll see you next week.